you very much, and welcome to, welcome to the Tonight Show, everybody. Well, guys, today is February 2nd, which, of course, means it is Groundhog Day. Yep, first thing this morning, Puxitani Phil made his annual prediction on when winter will end. Here it is. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. There's a perfect shadow cast of me. Six more weeks of winter there will be. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, a mask upon my face is not seen, so two more weeks of quarantine. <laughs> I'm just glad we're still holding up wild rodents. <laughs> Clearly, we've learned a lot about public health from the pandemic. But it seems Puxitani Phil has been spending lockdown like the rest of us, because he came out in uh, stretchy pants eating a tube of cookie dough. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> I'm all for this uh, non-political news, but this whole thing is getting a little silly, isn't it? I mean, top hats and scrolls and wall-to-wall -wall coverage, it's, it's a groundhog. It's not a royal wedding. I mean, Biden's inauguration didn't get this much attention. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Everyone's talking about the six more weeks of winter, but there was a strange moment uh, when they first greeted Puxitani Phil. Now, this is real. Let's see if you think this is odd. I don't know. Listen to this. Oh, you, you look beautiful today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I have a prediction. Uh, a restraining order is about to be filed by a groundhog. <laughs> that guy cracked on day three of the pandemic and hasn't cracked back. <laughs> you look beautiful today. You're the special one. You're my special one. <laughs> you would never block me on Instagram, would you? <laughs> Uh, well, guys, it must be Groundhog Day because we're living through Trump's impeachment again. Uh, that's right. Today, House Democrats filed a brief that says Trump's singularly responsible for the Capitol riots. When the news broke, Trump was furious while Rudy was heartbroken. Singularly responsible? What? What am I, chopped cigars? After that, Trump's legal team filed their own brief that claims that he isn't responsible. It wasn't that hard to write. His lawyers just copied and pasted his defense from the last impeachment. <laughs> C control F, Ukraine, replace with riot, and so. But get this, there was actually a typo on the first page of the Trump brief. But I I'm sure it was a long, complicated legal term. No. Nope. It's, uh, it's just the name of our country. That's it. There we go. Yeah, Trump was like, totally unfair. The Microsoft paperclip is Antifa. Well, here's some good news today. The Biden administration made a big announcement regarding vaccine distribution. Listen to this. Starting on February 11th, the federal government will deliver vaccines directly to select pharmacies across the country. Hmm. After Trump, Biden looks like a genius for just being like, I, I got an idea. How about all the places that give flu shots? They should give vaccine shots. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Professor. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Yeah, it sounds like a smart idea, although CVS already shelled the vaccine to make room for its Halloween decorations. But... <laughs> Some big business news today. Jeff Bezos announced that he is stepping down as CEO of Amazon. Right now, his assistant is shipping his office stuff home in 47 different boxes. <laughs> yep, Bezos knew it was time to go when an Amazon drone showed up at his door and said, I'm your boss now. <laughs> Some more business news. I saw that after Subway was sued for allegedly using fake tuna, they decided to respond in an interesting way. Listen to this. Subway is offering a 15% discount on any tuna footlong in the app or online with promo code It's Real. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the promo code they meant to use was It's Seal. <laughs> that, uh, uh, I, uh, I think that is awful. I think that... Yeah, this promo thing is not working. They also have discount on turkey subs with the code didn't drop this. I mean, I, why... Why bring it up? Why... Some entertainment news. I read that Netflix is already making a movie about the drama surrounding GameStop stock. Meanwhile, when the news broke, Hulu panicked and greenlit a movie about the tuna at Subway. <laughs> 
Well, guys, there was a new episode of Below Deck last night, and things are really heating up. The emotions on that show can be a little hard to handle. So, to help, here's a scene from Below Deck, revoiced with the least emotional person we know, Siri. It's time for our latest installment of Let's Get Serious. Is it a yes or no you slept in the guest cabin? We were in the cabin. Did you sleep in the cabin? I wouldn't say it was light. Yes or no? Yes, I was sitting on the bed. Take accountability for what you did. I will ask you next time. I'm sorry. There's not gonna be a next time. I do want to keep things professional. You're not being professional. I've had enough of you. Wow. Unbelievable. The drama. Wow. Well, some sports news. The Super Bowl is just a few days away, and during an interview yesterday, Tom Brady was asked about his plans for the future. Listen to what he said. Would you consider playing beyond 45, especially with the way you're playing right now? Yeah, definitely. Um, I would definitely consider that. Yeah, you can tell the team wants him to keep playing. Today, Brady's coach woke him up by whispering, you look beautiful, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, I read about it. four travelers at an airport in China who ate 66 pounds of oranges to avoid paying a $46 luggage fee. <laughs> On the bright side, with a little turbulence and a lot of vodka, they were able to make the most amazing screwdrivers. Hey, guys, the Super Bowl is coming up, and so this is big news here at the show. Uh, this year, I challenged Tariq to a contest. Who can make the best dip? So this Thursday will be the first Annual. Do we have to put the word annual in there? The first annual Tonight Show dip well, off. You can say annual, but you're not good. Like, once you lose, it's not like you want to come back next year <laughs> and do it again. So. Ooh. Oh, man, I don't lose a dip off, man. Okay. I don't lose a dip off. So here's the rules. For, there's people online freaking out. They go, I understand you're doing this, but what are the rules, Jimmy? Tell me what's up. What's Give it to rule? me straight. Yeah. You got 30 minutes to make it. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. And it must include cheese of some kind, okay? Okay. And then we need a judge, and the judge is Questlove. I got this in the bag. Like, come on. You think my boy, you think he's gonna pick you? Come on. Well, here's, the, here's the deal. Here's the deal. He, he, it, it's a blind test. Oh. So he doesn't know. We can, you can do whatever. So you think you have it in the bag. By the way, I think your dip probably comes out of a bag. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying, dude? Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, you want to have a dip off now? Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay, yeah. cool. You know what I'm well, saying? Yep. We're going to see. Well, I guess we won't see because it's blind. Yeah. So, so this Thursday, Quest will, he won't be blindfolded while eating. Oh. So we can. But he, he won't know whose dip is whose. He won't know whose dip. He'll be dipping it's, in some it's, dip. It comes down to the taste. He'll know. He'll know. He'll know what's up. No, he'll know what's He'll definitely know what's up. Yeah. Wait, why y'all talking about me in third person? <laughs> well, no, it's like, well, like, pretend that you're blindfolded now. Yeah. Who, who do you think? Who? I'm telling you, he was. I mean, I've known him for 12 years, man. Yeah, that's Quality. nothing. Quality. That's nothing. That's nothing. Now, no, I'm talking about QT, man. Oh, quality, quality time. Okay, cool. Well, right. I mean, you've known each other for how long? 33 years. Yeah, so half the time, and I still think I got you it. Think, you think 12 times two <laughs> is 33? <laughs> I, I got this. <laughs> I got this in the back. No, you don't have to do the math, like. I'm not a genius. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, I'm talking about quality time out of yeah. those, 30, those 33 years. Yeah. It's all be, well, yeah, you guys are Larry Bird in it, man, but I'm like, you know. Yeah. I'm, uh... Kurt the, Rambis? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> number 12? Yeah. Like, like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It was number 12. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Okay. 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 Yeah, there you yeah. go. Well, when I dip, You're you Larry dip. You're Larry Bird. We dip. We'll find out Thursday who wins the dip off. Yeah. Ah. yeah. And, and the winner also gets a, a bowl, a, 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 I'm not going to say a crystal bowl, but maybe a cubic zirconia. Uh, as long as you know True. in your heart that it's that you won, you, know, you don't need to have the actual crystal. You know? No, I feel like everybody wins, right? Well, no. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> the rules state that there's one clear winner in this. Okay, and well wins, then, you gets know, a dip bowl. I hear that, man. Well, sorry. Yeah. Make room for dip set, cause here we come. Uh, Do you ever hear that story? I think it's Deion Sanders said that he doesn't he doesn't wear uh, diamond earrings. Well, yeah, he wears all yeah, just, uh, fake jewelry. Yeah, cubic yep. zirconia. He goes, because I know I can afford it, yeah. but I just don't want to lose it. Yeah, true. So that's kind of the same with our dip bowl. Yeah, so you're making a fake dip. 
I get it. No, 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 my dip. No, no, my dip you, is you real. You have no idea how real my dip is. My dip is real. <laughs> Dude, you're not even gonna understand what goes down when you see, when you, when you see the results of this. Okay. It might make you just rethink it all, man. Dippity doo dah, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like, uh, like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yep. Well, I, the obvious one would be like a dip, dop, a dip it, a dip, dop, a dip, oh dop, dip it, a dip. But I won't do it. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is, <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> you don't want to drop it because then you'd be like, <laughs> drip, dip, <laughs> dip, drop, drop, hooray! hooray! Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. You don't want it. Oh, we saw that. No, I'm not going to say that one either. Because they're too obvious. Both of those ones are too, too obvious. So it's like, no, dude, I'm going to shoot straight from the dip, man. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So okay. check it out. This Thursday, everybody, set your TiVos, your DVRs, your uh, VCRs, your recorders, your Betamax. It's all going down. We'll be right back.